What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android home screen preview that I've been working on for some time. Kind of a proof of concept that we can have an Ubuntu or technically a Kubuntu style launcher for Android that mimics the taskbar and notification panels that we have on the Kubuntu desktop. So if you're a Kubuntu user, at least on the recent iterations of it, you'll have a menu that looks kind of like this where you have a search bar for your apps, you have your favorites and all applications menu at the bottom, and then a couple of other menus that, while they're useful, they don't really translate well as far as usefulness on Android. So uh, what I did was I put together a home screen that is kind of mimicking this, but also taking into account the various panels like weather or um, your media player and things like that so that it's all in one compact uh, home screen. So the result is something like this where you'll see a or I have it set up for um, my favorite apps where these are the apps that I use all the time so I want to have quick access to them. The main downside is that I do have to set the colors manually so while I can easily change the name icon and the shortcut changing the color is one that one extra piece that I would love to automate that's pulled based on the app icon but is not supported as far as I know and on the Android level or even in custom live wallpaper maker but since these are apps I use all more frequently it is quite all right so the other button is the apps um, icon which opens my app drawer so just a little bit of Thing there and of course at the top you see an image which is kind of like the profile picture and then the sh a search bar for search or quick search um, uh, Google Assistant and Google Lens and then instead of a user ID like you would have on a laptop I just set the date so that I can have a quick access to what the current date is and also to launch Google Calendar so from here I took out the three icons that we that I showed in the shortcut. So instead of computer, history, and leave, I said I used up uh, similar panels that we would see in um, Kubuntu. So notifications are the notifications that I get on Android. So it can be email, text messages, Twitter, media players, things like that. So those are all that will show up here and they take up the length of the screen. If there's any overflow, then um, they would not show up until I clear some of the other notifications. For the media player, it's pretty straightforward. So whatever current media is playing. So in this case, I was recently listening to the Morning Stream podcast. So when the music is not playing, you'll see the colors like you see here that's pulled from the image at the top left. But when I start playing it, the background of the my home screen changes and the accent colors also change. Um, and you'll notice that the bar at the bottom of the screen disappeared and that's because much like um, what you see in Kubuntu when you're on a specific panel it'll have an accent over that the blue line you see over favorites moves over so currently there's nothing visible so there's no accent but if I click on favorites the yellow bar show or the orange bar shows up if I click on uh, weather it goes there media uh, media player it shows there notifications so um, I have that set up so that um, the color changes either based on what the default image is if no music is playing and then it changes to the um, colors from the album art if something is playing. Now you might be wondering about the animations that you see here. So when you go into Custom Live Wallpaper Maker, it is a two-step process. So, so the first thing you need to do is have a toggle set, a text toggle set up that is that sets a default of zero and so when you react to pressing a button so for example i push the favorites icon then there's a touch that sets it to one because that's in position one for notif for notifications it was sets it to two because that's uh, toggle two media player is three so it sets it to three and so on and so forth for all the four icons so the idea there is when you push on the button it knows which panel you want to show up and from there you have to tie it to the panel so in my favorite apps i have an animation set where if um i push if the, the if i hit the button then it animates in 
the favorite so it knows to load that if I push the um, notifications button it sets that and so on and so forth so that um, it sets the values according to which button is pressed and if there's no button it resets it to zero and same thing with the apps icon is that when I press that it resets the values to zero because there's no panels um, showing and so um, obviously we don't want any accents and we don't want anything to show so um, a pretty nifty setup there and I set it all to fade in and out because that one's the one that works best but there are a few different options you can do scale in and out inverted uh, rotation things like that but because uh, Kombuntu has a uh, fading uh, feature in the panels and uh, start menu that you see on the desktop and that one works the best um, so now from here the other thing to note is that as far as the background goes it's a pretty simple formula where you I have it set where if um, music is playing, pull the colors from that cover art. If it's not playing, pull it from the uh, image. So that's a matter of setting a global variable for an image. So I can just as easily set that to another um, accent color. So, so let's say I want um, this picture, the sunset from Tatooine during the Clone Wars. Um, I can just as easily do that. So you see that it changes it to a pink and purple and the highlights change accordingly. Um, going into the settings, if I pick another uh, image with slightly different colors, it'll do the same thing. So um, it picks up a little bit of more of a gold hue there and the blue accent. So um, that's one of those things where using custom live wallpaper maker gives you a more dynamic looking home screen. So while Kabuntu does offer a little bit of theming options and all that it's not as dynamic as what you see here so overall i want to say that a lot of what you see in that kabuntu um, start menu and panels um, i was able to translate over very well so as a patron i'm gonna have a link to the file so if you're a custom live wallpaper user and you don't use a oneplus 9 pro you can kind of mess around with what you see here um, and I forget if I mentioned it but hitting the search button the text will do a quick search um, tied directly to the Google app touching the little canvas thing will open Google Assistant and touching that grid the square thing on the right will open Google Lens touching the date will open Google Calendar um, touching the image will open um, the custom live wallpaper setting so you can easily adjust the image or play around with things or anything like that and the one nifty thing is that um, Custom Live Wallpaper Maker does offer a, an Ubuntu font so you can get a full Ubuntu-like experience. But there are various other fonts available if you want to have your fonts say something else. Like if you want a more fancy looking one in like this Poiret One Regular or a more computer textile in this um, Q-Tiv Mono Regular, you can do that. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show off this home screen like I did with the Expanse and because there's it's more uh, there's more animations and um, things like that I wanted to show that off because it shows off a little bit better than um, having just static images so um, there's that and then things like the weather I have the um, icon at the bottom right updated so that it automatically shows the current conditions and temperature and um, in the icon and text format, but touching the um, button will put, bring up more information like the high and low for the day, sunrise and sunset forecast, and touching the text will open my weather app. So um, little things like that um, are part of this home screen. So like I said, if you are a patron, then you can uh, or I'll have a link to the uh, file that you can play around with and see how if you can get it to work better for your phone if it's a smaller or larger phone. And that's one of those reasons why I'm not quite publishing that to Google Play or anything like that because I don't have a way to easily and dynamically adjust the size based on uh, screen size as of yet. Um, but if you do have any questions or comments or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, the website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, links to the patron, which is at patreon.com slash patelin01. 
And I wanted to give a quick shout out to Brandon Craft, aka Craft Math on YouTube because it was actually one of his videos that allowed me to figure out how to get this paneling system to work right. So I'll have a link to that video. So if you want to get a paneling style system like this that fades in and out depending on the button that you press, then that video is a definite plus and very helpful as far as being able to set up a, f a menu that fades in and out um, based on what you're touching, whether it's a list of apps, um, a notification panel, media player, weather, or all of the above. So that's all there is for this particular uh, preview and review. Um, so if you, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Or if you're a patron, then you can comment on this post on the Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time. And um, I'll show preview this one last color theme before I sh shut it down. But basically, um, like I said, once you set up the panels and a couple of the panels, using that video by... Um, craft math on YouTube will make it easy so that no matter what order you push buttons in, it knows exactly what to do and which panel to open, which ones to close, and kind of does a reset every time. So um, you can even open and close individual panels and uh, go in any particular order to um, test it out. But uh, custom live wallpaper maker is definitely the way to go. And the one thing I did forget to mention is that this is using Nova Launcher so that when you click on the apps button, it is linked to um, a Nova Action shortcut. So if you go into um, any, any touch action and you do launch shortcut, and then you go to Nova Action, you'll get the list of Nova Actions that you can have a, a shortcut to. So you can even do an app search, desktop previews, recent apps, and things like that. If you want to do um, your, instead of your home screen button for recent apps, not recently used apps like a listing like I showed you. So that's where I got the app drawer shortcut from. So um, you would need a compatible launcher to do like something like that um, if you're not going to use Nova Launcher. Um, if you don't mind using the swipe up gesture, which I do have, um, you can get around that and change the icon for apps to something else like fitness or whatever else you prefer to use. But um, this is my way of um, directly translating the Kubuntu look and feel directly into an Android home screen. So that's all there is for this particular preview. Uh, I gave you the places where I can, you can reach out to me. The links will be in the show notes along with a more detailed um, episode guide um, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular review. And also, and also before I forget, I'll have a link in the show notes. So if you're listening to this on audio, I'll have a link to the video version on YouTube so you can um, I'll watch that when you have a chance and um, you can have a preview or a further preview than what you see in the album art for the post. But thanks for tuning into this particular review and until next time.